When we were trying to figure out if farming was a good fit, we had a lot of questions. These are all the questions that we had before we went ahead and moved out of the city and moved up here to the property. And if you catch the lay of the land video that we just did, where Ben and his dad spent four months up here last summer, a lot of our questions were answered during that time. So before we moved, we had to understand the area first. We had to know what we were getting ourselves into, right? <laughs> and we needed to know if we could grow everything that we eat on this medical medium diet that we love and follow. And then the questions just started rolling through our heads, right? It was, well, what can we grow? And when can we start growing it? And when do we have to stop growing it? How long will it take? Yeah. <laughs> So then when we, were trying, when we were trying to figure out, okay, what will grow here, we decided, well, where's the best place to go look and see how other farmers are doing? Let's, let's go to the market. Let's go to the farmer's market and check it out. So, yep. so we went to the local farmer's market and there were surprisingly only like maybe three or four farms there selling produce and all the rest of the vendors were selling specialty items and not produce. So we knew there wasn't a huge competition and that we could definitely sell our produce there. Yeah, and I think one of those vendors was a meat guy. He was just selling mm. meat yeah. and eggs and stuff. So yeah, we saw some good opportunity there and then we decided, well, let's, you know, call the county and just let them know our plan and see what they have to say and when we called the county the the guy i spoke with was like ecstatic he's like a farm up here great we're we, short on them yeah. they sell up sell out the produce sells out at the farmer's market and yeah he was like we need more farm and more local produce yep and so that was just kind of the start of it and then we were thinking all right well you know, we'll be able to sell at the market, but can we sell anywhere else? Yeah, so we thought, well, restaurants, that would be a good place. Yeah. A lot of market gardeners sell to restaurants as well with chefs and things like that. Um, and we know that there's at least a handful of specialty restaurants in our area that um, love fresh uh, local produce. So yeah. that's another avenue. Yeah, and we're growing microgreens, and so we we figure chefs, they probably love microgreens. So yeah. that was another thought going through our mind. And then we thought, well, what about medical medium people? What about doing like a box service for people trying to heal? Yeah. You know, because that's what brought us here is we were chronically ill. I was really sick for a long time. You know, maybe we'll grow more food and then we can donate some of it to some of the people that are sick because we went through the whole doctor to doctor to doctor thing with no answers and we wasted a lot of our money when we could have just gone out and bought <laughs> Anthony Williams book for 20 bucks and learned exactly what was going on with our health. Yeah. So we feel your pain there. You know, we want to help out. So. You know, a lot of thoughts were going through our head at that time, and then we just decided, well, can we, you know, can we at least make enough to supplement what we were making in the city? Can we, you know, move up here, make that amount of money, but live a more simple, yeah. happier life? And, and it's, it's possible. Yeah. It's definitely possible. Yeah, so that's something we'll be sharing with you guys throughout this whole experience is just kind of what what we're selling, who we're selling to, and how much we're making throughout, throughout the journey. So um, stay tuned for that. So you want me to do that and then you need to do this? Oh. Oh, cool. My first one. Really? Yeah, I can hear him, but I haven't seen him. Oh, that was a canary over there. I saw some things went by, but... It's over in the bushes there. The canary. 
Oh, again, <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> so another question we had was, how much space is needed in order to make what we were making in the city? Yeah, and then like, what goes into designing a farm? <laughs> how do we plan for this? You know, do we have to put a crop plan together? You know, what is yeah. a crop plan? You know, all these questions were questions going through our heads. And then on top of that, we're doing all of this off grid. So it's like, how do you even plan to farm off grid? You know, I'm right. used to, we're used to, to running water, running water in the garden <laughs> and, you know, yeah, and electricity and, you know, all of the amenities that we had in the city we don't have here so how do we even do this right and we also were thinking well what equipment do we need do we need a greenhouse and we also wondered what we would need in the greenhouse what do we need for shelving how do we organize it where do we place everything how many seeds do we order how many different crops do we get uh, we create the soil blocks and they go in trays. How many trays do we need? What plants need to be transplanted into pots and which ones go directly into the ground and how many pots are we going to need? And then we asked ourselves, well, is there enough soil on the land that we can use for our beds? Or do we have to bring in soil? So then we broke ground on our first bed and even more questions came up do we even break ground do we till do we not till do we just you know take wheelbarrows and dump the dirt on the grass you know how do we do it and then we started asking ourselves well what to do with the weeds because you know we have weeds do we pull them you know do we just cut them do we just let them sit on the bed once they are pulled or do we take them over to a compost bin and let them decompose? There's so many different ways of doing this. Yeah, and then once the soil's put in the bed, do we need to amend it? So another question we had was, do we direct sow into the ground or do we start them in the greenhouse like these guys? The other question we had is, well, once they're growing, how do we continue their growth? How do we, we keep them growing? Do we need to fertilize them? Well, what do we use to fertilize them? Then we asked ourselves, how are we going to get water to the plants? We're off grid. How much water do the plants need? And then do we need to get irrigation? And so one morning, we woke up, we looked out the window, and there was elk out here grazing. And it got us thinking, well, how are we going to protect our crops from things like elk or deer or bear or even insects? And then how are we going to prevent disease? So a lot more questions came up then. And you can see behind me, we got some row covers in. So that's one way of protecting our crops. We also asked ourselves, okay, how are we going to wash the crops? Is there an uh, easy access for a delivery truck to get in here? And then once we've harvested the crops, what do we do with the beds? So after four months of learning the land, here we are. We're doing it. Yep. And all those questions you heard us ask in this video will be upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell to be notified every time we post a new video. And then comment below because we're new to farming or market gardening, but if you're an experienced farmer or market gardener and you heard some of these questions and you know the answers, let us know. We love the help. We love the suggestions. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.